Dark Souls Arc Thrones. I don't know if this is anything interesting or not, but uh, we will take a look at it. This came out seven hours ago. It always has already has 40,000 views. Okay, so this is Dark Souls 3. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Let me move it up so you guys can see the uh, the flasks and everything too. So this is a completely new area that these guys have built for Dark Souls. Yeah, this is a mod, man. I'm pretty sure it's built off of Dark Souls 3. I'll know once I see some boss fights. Yeah, this is Dark Souls 3, I'm pretty sure. Uh, because you can tell this flooring here is used in, I think, Lothric Castle. And so are the chandeliers. And, oh, yeah, that's 100% Dark Souls. Dark Souls 3. Yeah. Those are the knights that you fight on the way up to, uh, uh, fucking Vort and, um, uh, Dancer. So, yeah, this is the Dark Souls 3 mod. The assets, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Well, now we're going to see the boss. This doesn't seem particularly difficult. Well, not that it has to be. Oh, wow! Holy shit, this is totally new! Holy fuck! Yeah, this is like the Demon Souls, uh... This is the Demon Souls start. That's pretty fast, too. New model? Yeah, it's a new model. Obviously, like, this one's a lot faster than the Vanguard and Demon Souls. There it is. And so what happens if you get killed by him? Does a good amount of damage. I think he died on purpose, obviously, to show, like, what happens. So this should probably spawn you somewhere else. Oh, what the fuck? Is this cinematic? Oh my god. This is really fucking impressive, man. Is this where you pick out your weapon? That's what the implication is. We'll see if he has a new weapon here. Welcome to the Nexus, lost soul. Okay. A great many souls. I'm gonna be honest. This is ridiculously fucking impressive. Holy shit, this is insane, man. This is a mod. Oh my god. Bro, we're gonna play this on release. This is incredible. The arch thrones will allow travel to other worlds. Okay. This is a demon souls mechanic. Just left the item there. Makes me so mad. Hides Tower. Ruins of Blue. Yep, Hides. Haha, <laughs> this is fucking insane! Holy fucking shit! This is like Hides Tower from Dark Souls 2. This is one of the coolest- is there the- is the dragon there? Oh my god, there's a bonfire, it should be right there. Oh, those are the Hyde Knights.
There's a good chance the knights might not be ready yet. Wait a second. Oh, never mind. So, my best guess is that their poise bar is used as a, uh, as a deflection bar in this. Like, they're, they're co-opting the poise bar for these NPCs and then using that as almost like a shield. I think, but I don't know. I'm curious to see how these knights are. Oh, this is this is where the um uh the pokey boy is. Okay. Is this Gale? I'm not sure. based off of his model? No, I, maybe not. No, okay. Pro Ninja? Maybe. Can you get a backstab? Almost. You see right here, normally there's a boss. This is interesting, there's actually no boss at all. So no, it's not like the parry barn. I actually think they have... So these mobs can actually block you. Because, like, originally I thought it's like, oh, they just have, like, basically invincibility hits for poise. But no, they can actually block your attacks. Holy fuck. It, it is just like Sekiro. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. This is insane. Look at this. And this is all new. Oh my god. Is this owl? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. Yep, that's owl. What the fuck? This is incredible. This shit's hard, too. What is this? So, o Owl is a boss in Sekiro, and the reason why people are saying it's him is because this is effectively his moveset. Obviously, the model is totally different. It's the Ludwig floor? It could be. It reminds me of that. Holy fuck, this is amazing. This boss is fucking hard, too. Bro, I cannot wait to play this. This is incredible.
Holy fuck. So like these are completely new assets and, and I think this is what's really impressive about this is that in a lot of the Dark Souls mods like you maybe have like one or two new NPCs and it's not like every single NPC in here is, is unique right because obviously we saw like the Lothric Knights for example but this does seem to be like completely transformative. Like, I would say this is probably even more transformative than any of the other previous Dark Souls mods that I've played. Oh, shit! Okay. Looks very legit, yeah. What in the fuck? Phase two? Yeah, I didn't expect this at all. Holy shit. Yeah, this guy's no joke. The white stuff, if it's the same as in Sekiro, it prevents you from healing. But then you die, okay. So what happens if yeah, what happens if you go to another one? Oh, well, the one at the top, okay. What the fuck? And it's, there's a bonfire right next to him. Okay, these guys are like fighting each other, alright. Wow! So those are- they're like the executioners from Bloodborne with the axe. But they're using the Dark Souls 3 uh, fucking uh, the, the, the Wing Knights model. Yeah, that's the double. Yeah, this is a this is a Bloodborne mob. Holy fuck, this is awesome. Oh my god. And they made all of this. I love the uh the colors too. I think they're amazing. This is obviously a boss fight. Yeah, you can see him lying down. What the fuck? Tower Knight? Yep. And then you have to go hit his head, but this guy's just gonna <laughs> just cut his dick off, all right? This is new. Okay, what does this do? Okay. Seems like a pretty easy attack to avoid. Holy shit, man. This is amazing.
And then now, now you can go hit his head, and that's where he takes the most damage. What the fuck? He's gonna teleport. Okay, that's the uh, fucking Prince uh, Lothric attack. I see that. Holy shit, this is... Yeah, again, guys, this is a new mod of Dark Souls 3. And it's not even really a mod of Dark Souls 3. It's just using the Dark Souls 3 foundation. He's, he's dead. Surprised he got out of that. Holy fuck. Redon attack? I thought that was more Elden Beast, but Elden Beast is four of them. That is fucking brutal. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, it's four. Five? Wait. Bro, this guy just doesn't give a fuck. Mod, by the way. Yeah. Great foe. What does it say here? You shall obtain a powerful soul fit to feed the Ark Thrones. Core of the Wall Guardian. This is fucking amazing. Uh, what is the timing on this? When is this going to come out? Uh, video content, any more uh, questions about this? Let me just go ahead and look here. Yeah, this is a mod about, let's see here, Twitter. Uh, we'll pull up their Twitter. Uh, I'm going to follow them. And let's see here, gameplay showcase. I'm assuming, yeah, this is all the stuff we've just seen before. Zering, uh, Patreon is under this, okay. Been development, oh, oh, here we go. Th this is them talking about it, okay. Arc Thrones is an overhaul mod for Dark Souls 3 on a scale never seen before. It has been in development for almost two years now, but there is still much more for us to do. Uh, an alternate story unfolds across five unique worlds, each accessible via the Nexus of Embers. Encounters with bosses and allies await in this hostile but beautifully reimagined version of Lothric and other Dark Souls locales. Thank you to everyone who's seen this and continues to support us. Let me link you guys, okay? Uh, so you guys can support this. This is fucking incredible. Oh my god, it's actually a new game. It might be close to that. I mean, I'm not really sure. Like, I don't think they've answered anywhere here uh, when it's coming out, so I'm not sure yet. Definitely deserves it. Yeah, I mean, I think they absolutely should. Holy fuck. Yeah, these modders are legendary. Yeah, new content for sure. Well, I yeah, I think this is fucking amazing, honestly. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, I'd love to have these guys on and maybe talk to them on my stream about this. This is incredible. And this is another part of it, too. Look at this. So, obviously, like, all of the little stars and everything haven't been finished. But look at that. Oh, my God. Like, whenever that's actually finished, I will be very impressed. Karthus Warriors. Damn. Okay, let's see if there's any more uh, any more videos. Oh, and then there's this one here. So this is obviously Firelink Shrine that they just completely reimagined for this mod. Here's what Miyazaki and his team think about it. Well, they probably think it's badass. Because, like, for them, you got to look at it from their perspective. Th th these guys are basically unpaid, uh, unpaid devs. Like, these guys are making people excited to play Dark Souls 3 again for free. So, yeah, I, I feel like this is a universal W for them. Not every company is Nintendo, you know? Yes, you go there, too. Not in a demo, though. Oh, it's Dranglet Castle. Holy shit. Yeah, this is from Dark Souls 2. 
wow, something cool's coming. And this is, I don't know where the fuck this is from. I'm just looking at some of these other pictures here. Wow. Dark Souls 2 best areas. Don't, yeah, I'll link the fire. So this is what their, uh, what their bonfires look like too. Oh my God. I'll link it for you guys one more time if you guys can uh, uh, go ahead and give it some support, man. This is amazing. I, I think these guys deserve all the support they can get. This is incredible. I hope it comes out soon, but they should release it whenever they're ready. And this is another area. Hmm. I feel like this has the same vibe as the... Uh, Uh, like the, the Bloodborne, like, what are those called? Like, those catacombs that you go into? The labyrinths or whatever? Chalice dungeons. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, those are also Bloodborne uh, spiders. Those are the spiders whenever you're going up and uh, you're, like, exploring... Uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, the weird guy with the head in the box. Uh, you're exploring, like, his area. Uh, let's see here. I hate those things. Yeah, there's a really big one, too. Mikolash. Yeah, Mikolash. There you go. Let's see what this is. I'll look at a couple more. So you can see, obviously, they've retooled the area for... Like, this is where, obviously, those, those like, pillars would come up and you fight the, um, uh, the Deacons of the Deep. As you can see here with these different, uh, like, levers, and, and this is where the giant would be. But it's completely retooled to where it looks like it's from Bloodborne. The Patches Quest? Yeah. Holy fuck, man. I can't wait for this to come out. Oh my god, I'm so hyped up. Holy shit. Like, I just saw this. This got linked to me, and I didn't know really, like, oh, I don't know if this is going to be cool or not. And, um, wow. I am so excited for this. I hope it's good. I really, really do.